Uh, good morning, good people. I uh, hope everybody's doing okay. Pay no mind to the cattail that just went by you. That's little kitty. Uh, she's making her rounds. Uh, welcome. I hope everybody's doing good during this uh, COVID outbreak. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's following, you know, the, what's been suggested by uh, the health officials and all of the above. But the, what I want to talk to you about this morning is real quick, and I was going to post it on Facebook, and then I realized, you know what, let me make a small video, and it may help somebody in the future. Uh, a couple of months ago, I took my truck in to get serviced. I have a, a 2015 Toyota Tundra the, that I bought used. Uh, when I bought it, it only had uh, 12,000 miles on it. Um, it's the cheapest version of it. It's not even an SR5. It's an SR. I wanted a just a plain white truck with nothing fancy on it, vinyl seats, you name it, a ranch truck. And it has been a great truck. You know, I'm, I'm a firm believer in uh, uh, Toyota products. Uh, as a matter of fact, I own a, a, a Tacoma and a Tundra. And in uh, I've also owned a Corolla, a Camry, a Forerunner, uh, I think two RAV4s. Uh, they're just absolutely great vehicles. You maintain them, and they seem to go on forever. Uh, while I was doing this, my uh, friend uh, that was doing this, a uh, 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 master mechanic, Anthony Burkett, uh, uh, noticed that he said, hey, do you, do you know that your truck has a salvage title? And I said, uh, no. And he said, well, you may want to check into that. So, of course, I was very upset that the dealership had sold me a, um, a truck with a salvage title. But lo and behold, I checked when the salvage title was issued, and it was issued in uh, 2018, you know, on January the 5th of 2018. So I said, no, that couldn't have been because the truck was in my possession. Uh, so I started making some phone calls, and sure enough, it was a dead end after dead end after dead end after dead end. So I, what I did was that uh, somewhere I found out that uh, you contact Carfax. So I contacted Carfax and I gave him a very good explanation. I said, you know, I want to protest this. And uh, my truck has not been totaled. It says that it was totaled in January 5th of 2018 and it's sitting in my driveway. It's in perfectly good shape, actually. It's, it's almost, I would say, almost in immaculate condition. It's dirty, but it is, it is in very good condition. So, uh, they did some research and they contacted me back and they said, well, your insurance reported that it was totaled. And it's like, no, I contacted my insurance. My insurance said that they never made such a claim. So they said, okay, well, give us, give us, let, let us check with your insurance. So they checked again for another two weeks. And lo and behold, I get a, a email this morning by a lady, uh, the name is Tia, T-I-A. And she said, uh, you know what? We check with the insurance. There's nothing wrong with your truck. Uh, we're going to get rid of this, and here is a copy of your new Carfax report. Okay, so I have a copy of my Carfax report that says that it was wrecked, and now I have a copy of my Carfax report that says that, you see there, no damage, no accidents reported, and that's what you want. Now, let me tell you why this is so important. If somebody wants to buy your vehicle, and they put the VIN number into this Carfax report, it's going to throw it back. Like, I went in there, and I wanted to see how much my truck was worth, and it was telling me it was worth $4,000, when in reality, my truck is not worth $4,000. I did that when uh, the blemish was on it, and it gave me a value of $4,500. Now, when I did it this time, it gave me a resale value, a, a private resale value of $17,500, which is, yeah, that's more or less what this truck is worth, which I think it's way too much. But, hey, that's what the Kelly Blue Book said. But it doesn't matter what mechanism you use, it's going to come back. And, and a lot of people, from what I understand, I went on Reddit, and this happens a lot. It, 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 I mean, it, it, it happens more often than not. And what they told me is that there was another truck like mine. All, it's really the way that it works from what I was told is that all SR white Tundras that were made, the uh, numbers are almost in sequential order. And if you, a friend of mine has one exactly like that. And if you look at the VIN numbers, they're almost identical. And the tag numbers are also almost identical. 
So what this tells me is that somebody did total an SR5, a white 2015 SR5, and when they were entering it, they entered the wrong number, and mine came up. So what I suggest that you do is if you are going to sell a vehicle or you are going to buy a vehicle, invest the money and get a Carfax report. Now, I don't work for Carfax, okay? And I don't have anything. Uh, I'm not affiliated. Oh, wait. My truck is a 2014, not a 2015. The, the other one is a 2015. I'm sorry. Um, uh, but uh, these things are worth their weight in gold. Uh, and I would suggest that you run a Carfax report on your car because you you don't know. Uh, uh, now, they're not always completely accurate. You know, like it says here that no accidents, no damage. Well, if I wreck it and I go fix it, you know, in one of those, you know, kind of the shops that we have in the neighborhoods, then nothing's going to get reported. You know, nothing is foolproof. But if anything major happens to it and an insurance claim is made, it's going to come out in the Carfax report, okay? Uh, I hope that nobody else has this problem. Uh, it was quite a nightmare. Uh, I didn't worry about it too much because I was going to keep the truck, and I knew that the truck was, was in real good shape. But, hey, you know, I paid a lot of money for it, you know, and I want it to retain its value. And if one day I do decide to sell it to somebody, then... There's going to be a question on whether or not a bank is going to finance this vehicle because of the blemishes on the Carfax report. So check your Carfax reports. And like I said, I don't work for them, but you can get a preliminary one for like $10, I think. Uh, and also, one of the cool things about this is that when you get your car serviced at the dealership, uh, all of these updates come here. You know, mine has always been serviced at the dealership by my friend Anthony Burkett. And there is a history, you know, they changed the oil, they did this to it, they did that. Uh, and also other places report this, like some of the minute lubes and stuff like that, they also report to Carfax. So it's important that you, if you do your maintenance, get it done at a reputable place so it can be posted here. I wish that I could do the maintenance, you know, do the maintenance myself and say that, hey, my, uh, I, I did the maintenance on my truck. There, do you see little kitty? Uh, I think she's been out. She's taking a bath now, and she's going to go ahead and uh, take a nap on my recliner. There you go. Little kitty, are you going to take a nap? Are you going to take a bath first? Okay, she's going to take a bath first. You know? So, hey, y'all take care. Uh, be kind to each other, and I don't know. Enjoy time off if you got it. Bye-bye.